And when I first got in the ring, I didn't care what happened to me. I didn't care. But now as you, as a kid, I want to lose what I got. Will you please do it, I try to turn a baby down and say a fan. Rocky Balboa is just one of many impressions comedian and voice artist Ari Spears has been doing for decades. We love it. He's appeared on the big screen and most notably known for his work on sketch comedy show Mad TV this weekend. You can catch Aries doing stand-up here in Orlando. And we're just so excited to have the funny man himself, Ari Spears, joining us today. No, hey, Welcome. I know, it's, I know it's early for you. Uh, yeah, no, I'm good. You're I'm good. good. <laughs> we're nocturnal creatures, but we're here. Yeah. yeah. So you got this tour going on three nights at the Improv. Like, how does it feel? Are you excited? What can people expect? Um, you know, I always love coming to Florida. I mean, I don't want to make it sound like, you know, kind of corny, but, you know, people always ask me where's my favorite place to perform, and I go anywhere in southern Florida, because mm -hmm. uh, it's hot, it's humid, and you, you, you ladies, y'all dress like y'all don't like your fathers. <laughs> <laughs> And it's it's true. wonderful. We're just trying to stay cool. <laughs> and I love Orlando, so it's all good. Yes, and I mean, you've been at this for years. You started yeah. when you were 14. I mean, when you were 14 years old, could you imagine that this would still be going on like this? Um, you know, you hope so. Yeah. Uh, but it's always, you know, the, the, the longer and longer you go year after year, it's kind of tough to always stay above water and stay relevant. So uh, I've been fortunate. You know, I've been able to do my thing, and people still respond to it, so... I'm, I'm, I'm lucky. One thing that you are known for are your impersonations, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you'll have plenty of those in the show. Um, can you give us a little something? Maybe, like, can oh you just name <laughs> something? Or uh, Put me on the spot here. Which is my camera? This one right here? Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yo, what's up? Make sure I catch the playoffs on TNT. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's good basketball. And we're going to watch this great freak in the Raptors. <laughs> Well, I love Shaq it. is not in town, probably. No, right he's now. not. So no, he's not. Yeah. Find I, I think he still has a home out he here. Does. He does. Yeah. Blue roof on Lake yeah, Butler. Yeah, it's yeah. for sale, Aries. So maybe is you it can really? get it and you can just move here. I don't know. That might be too pricey for me. <laughs> yeah. What about Scarface? Uh, I know I never really did Scarface, but that's much. almost okay, like the go-to for every black to dude <laughs> that loves those kind of movies. <laughs> so I don't want to be too hacky. Oh gosh! <laughs> and of course, you know we're so excited about your shows. And you know I've heard you say that you know you think good comedy should make people uncomfortable sometimes. Bit, yeah, so tell yeah. us about that. Um, well, I come from that era of you know George Carlin, Richard Pryor, Eddie oh, Murphy, yeah. uh, back before comedy became moist. <laughs> uh, and this PC culture, um, political correctness run amok, uh, I think we've gone too far, you know. Uh, and I think comedy is supposed to make you think a little bit, make you feel a little bit uncomfortable, obviously make you laugh, but it's, it should have all of those things combined. Mm -hmm. You know, the great ones did it. Richard, uh, Carlin, mm -hmm. Rock, you know, Chappelle. Uh, they, they, they keep you on the edge of your seat, you know, so... I want to make you uh, a little uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. They make you blush a little bit, that's for A sure. little bit, There's yeah. There's never yeah. a shortage of material when it comes to that. Well, no, thank God for the man in the White House. Uh, <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving. So, uh, you know, it's a blessing and a curse. Have you, did you, I mean, what was your inspiration back when you were 14 to kind of start the whole comedy world? Well, I, 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 I was an 80s baby, so I came up watching Eddie Murphy on mm -hmm. SNL. Oh, yeah. And he was king at the time. Oh, yeah. Uh, still is, but... Uh, so he was, I guess, my biggest inspiration to, mm -hmm. to really want to do it. So for folks who are coming out this weekend, what can we expect? I mean, this is this is an adult-only situation, Absolutely. right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Bring the kids. All, all, all no. the things that will get you guys removed from the air. Uh, I'm, I'm an adults-only kind of guy, so mm -hmm. uh, I like edgy stuff. I like, you know, being around adults who like to, you know, drink and smoke and let loose. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm geared to, I'm, I'm orientated towards that. Wonderful. Do you have any new impressions that you might have you know, um, that, that might make an appearance? Um, in the next I, don't, I don't really know about anybody new. Um, usually when people come to the show, they scream out for me to do this one and do that one. Mm. Uh, so I kind of give them a little bit of what they want, but I'm always trying to venture off into a different direction yeah. too. So it's a little interactive. <laughs> yeah, a little yeah. bit, a little bit, yeah. yeah. And, you know, you've talked about, you know, the man in the White House, the gift that keeps on giving. Do you <laughs> find that in kind of this political climate, maybe you get heckled a little bit more? Do people who come to see you, they, they know what they're going to get? No, no, because uh, I go for the jugular. <laughs> so, you know, you can try yeah, it if you right want off. to, uh, but I'm, I'm always a little bit prepared for that. So, uh, you know, come on out, see what it does. Roll, roll the dice. One thing <laughs> I've learned is nobody is safe in, like, those front rows. Ooh. Listen, you pay for show. courtside seats, you're going to be part of the game. That's right. <laughs> so, That's right. you know, uh, so come as careful. you will, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Tough skin. Yes.
Well, it is always good to see you, Aries. Thank you very much. And looking forward to seeing mm -hmm. you at the Improv How come this you weekend? never hire ugly people? <laughs> on the news, you it's always beautiful it. people. Really? Do you know how much makeup is on these faces? I know there's perfection all over you. Come uh, on. Do you now. know how much poison You're is You're at the in magic my face? show. You didn't know that? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, my goodness. Yeah, it's magic. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, so what nights can people expect? Tickets are still um, available. Yes, at the uh, two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow, one on Sunday. You can go to the website, improv.com, Orlando, and uh, get all your tickets there. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for, you for getting me. up and joining us this morning. It's been pleasure. a pleasure. My pleasure.